If you thought the Sony A7 IV was the king of hybrid cameras, think again because Sony is about to raise the bar, big time. The long-awaited Sony A75 is shaping up to be more than just an upgrade. It's a complete evolution and trust me, if you're a photographer, videographer, or a creator like me who has ever prayed for uncropped 4K, faster autofocus, and buttery stabilization your prayers might just be answered. Welcome back to technology in the future, your one-stop destination for modern camera news, cutting-edge tech updates, and gear reviews that keep you ahead of the curve. Today, we're diving deep into what could be the most talked about mirrorless camera of 2025, the Sony A75. If you're on the fence about upgrading from the A7 IV, or wondering whether this new model is worth the hype, stay tuned because we're breaking down everything from rumored specs to real-world expectations, pricing, release timelines, and even my personal wish list. First, let's address the obvious question why all the excitement, the A7 IV launched. Back in 2021 and instantly became a go-to for hybrid shooters. It offered a balance of photo and video features that content creators loved. But the market has changed. Competitors like Canon and Nikon have raised the bar with advanced stabilization, AI autofocus, and even fan base cooling. So, Sony had to respond and it looks like they're coming in strong with the A75. When can we expect it? Most credible. Leaks point to a launch window between July and October 2025. With October being the most likely because historically, Sony loves that fall release schedule. Pricing. Current rumors suggest around $3,000 USD, yes, slightly higher than the A7 IV. But honestly, if half these rumored features make it into the final product, that price bump will feel justified. This isn't a minor refresh, this is a major upgrade. Think of the A75 as a bridge between consumer-friendly models and Sony's premium flagships like the A1. Let's get into the juicy stuff. Sensor technology, rumors suggest a new 3 3MP partially stacked sensor or possibly a new 40 mp full frame sensor a stacked design would mean lightning fast readout speeds reduced rolling shutter and insane burst performance burst shooting how about 20 fps continuous shooting that's double the a7 iv if you're into sports or wildlife this is big news.video specs here's the headline feature for k at 1 to 0 fps potentially without a crop let that sink in, that's a filmmaker's dream, no more 1.5x crop frustration like on the A7 IV. If Sony nails this, TikTok creators, YouTubers, and wedding shooters are going to love it. Cooling and thermal design, no, Sony probably won't throw in a fan like the FX3. But we might see smarter internal heat dissipation and AI-driven thermal management. Translation, longer for K recording times without overheating, yes, please. Battery life and USB-C, expect better power efficiency, improved USB-C PD charging, and longer shooting sessions perfect for travel vloggers who live life on the go. Sony's autofocus is already legendary, but the A75 could take it further with next-gen AI autofocus think better eye tracking for humans, animals, and even vehicles. For you Ubers and solo shooters, this is gold. On the display front, we're hearing about a 5.7, 6M.EVF and a fully articulating Variangle LCD screen finally. Something vloggers can cheer about without breaking their arms. Trying to frame themselves. Now, here's what I hope Sony includes. A partial stack sensor not full, because that would cost a kidney. But semi-stacked would still be a huge win. Uncropped for K1 to OFPS I cannot stress this enough. For creators like us, that's game-changing. Next level IBIS and body image stabilization, Sony's IBIS is good. But competitors have raised the bar, time to catch up. Better rolling shutter control, if you've ever filmed fast action and got. Jelly footage, you know what I mean. Dual card slots, Cafex Press Type A plus UHS-2. This would make life easier for professionals juggling photo and video. If Sony delivers on even half these rumors, the A75 will be a dream camera for hybrid creators wedding. Shooters, YouTubers, commercial videographers, you name it. Not quite flagship pricing, but definitely flagship level performance in a compact. User-friendly body. So, what do you think? Is the Sony A75 shaping up to be your next big purchase? Are you more excited about uncropped 4K, AI autofocus, or those? Rumored stabilization improvements. Drop your thoughts, your wish list, and your bold predictions in the comments. And if you love staying ahead of the curve on camera tech, don't just stop here. Hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, 
and check out these videos on the end screen one on the future of mirrorless cameras and another on Sony's best lenses for hybrid shooters. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.